this is GoPro Hero 7 Black. This is my bagel. Would you like to tell them what kind of cream cheese you got on there too, honey? Herb and garlic. I got a package, I think I know exactly what this is. I was expecting a new GoPro, but I think it's some clothing from Amazon. Anyway. The Hero 7 Black, it's got hyper smooth. They're selling it as a gimbal killer. Slow mobility, I think the slow mo is awesome because this thing should have 240 frames per second. I'm not gonna touch on photos because in four years I've never taken a photo of my GoPro on purpose ever. Battery life, just overall value for the price. Playing Come As You Are by Nirvana. The GoPro audio sucks. Although I do think the audio is improved this go around. And before I forget, gotta run in the gym room. I guess we're not warming up today. This guy here's gonna push the car and hopefully we can get out of the snowbank. So, good luck. <laughs> now, one of my favorite parts is the ability to do slow mo. Out of the grocery store, the old lady needs some lip balm. GoPros are extremely durable, but to give you an idea of how durable these things are, I'm gonna drop the camera in some boiling water and a 450 degree oven. So, you know my GoPro? Yeah. And I just put it in the oven, 425 for seven minutes before it finally turned off. Why are you doing that? You're gonna wreck it. Okay, I love you, Dad. Talk to you later. Okay, thank you. I love you too, son. Bye-bye. The durability of all GoPros in general are extremely underrated. Battery life does suck though. This is a GoPro Hero 4. Battery in here lasts about an hour and a half. Couple that with a battery pack, you got about three hours, almost four hours on, on one GoPro right here. With the Hero 5 or the 6 or even the 7, you're limited to one battery per GoPro. Probably get about an hour and a half, maybe an hour on this for what I do. This is two pucks that I super glued together. The actual mount itself, uh, I put this in the oven under a broiler to melt the adhesive and I stuck it on. This is a suction cup mount. I was using this for the uh, car scene when I was talking on the car. This was just suction on the windshield. And you'd be surprised the amount of weird places this thing will suction to. Like, without a doubt, worth the 50 bucks that GoPro is overpriced on this. Next up is the gooseneck. Clamps on a lot of stuff. I wish that the clamps were a little bit bigger, but aside from that, it's pretty good. And then finally, the Karma Grip. I mean, as you can see with the Hyper Smooth, I don't know if it's a gimbal killer, but it's without a doubt extremely close. So comparing it to the Hero 4, I love the Hero 4 because these buttons are so goddamn clicky. The Hero 7, the shutter button's clicky, but the power button, it's not very clicky at all. In fact, sometimes if you hit it, it won't even turn on properly. So GoPro, please fix the power button. I love the new touchscreen interface. I mean, it's so easy. If you want to swipe, now you're in photo mode, video mode, 
time-lapse mode, it's so easy to, to navigate. And then changing your settings is literally as easy as pressing that. You get your resolution frames per second here, your view mode, everything here is just so easy. It's, it's almost Apple simple. 90% of this entire video was shot on the Hero 7. I haven't touched the video at all. These are the settings that I use for whenever I shoot. And these are the settings that GoPro uses for all of their video shoots and their commercials. So what are you getting for 500 bucks that you're not getting a cell phone or DSLR already? The ability of the slow-mo video, I think, speaks for itself. I think being able to slow video down and make it look that cool is worth the 500 bucks as is. All the time lapses you saw in this video were done on here with time warp mode. I can use it on the ice to do slow-mo. I can use it for my time warps. I can, you can use it in so many different dynamics. If you have 530 bucks to blow, you need to get this camera. The first ever GoPro I had was just a normal hero that was, it was like the one that like, you, it was stuck in the case. You couldn't take it out of the case or take out the battery. First time I ever used it, I hit it with a slap shot and destroyed it. It looked like a truck had ran over it. I called GoPro and they sent me a brand new one the next day. So GoPro, thank you for having awesome customer service. And without further ado, I want to send it off with a very special message from my favorite. Cue the sideline swap ad. Sidelineswap.com has a lot of good deals. If you don't find it at a local grocery store, it's not related, but go to the website. I'll see you next time.